my name is Jake Gale. I've been working for Perkins for six and a half years now, and we're currently at Colmer's test facility in Ardsplog, Sweden. This is my seventh trip in, uh, out to Colmer, Sweden. This is probably the coldest we've seen it for uh, the longest period of time. It's been pretty much minus 30 now for three, four weeks. The reason we test over here is to test the engines in the air applications in extreme environments. So we do a lot of after treatment and validation out here because of the temperatures. The fluid in the DEF system freezes below minus 11, so being minus 34 today, we need to make sure that the DEF doesn't freeze and keeps the engine emissions compliant. We run long hours on all the machines out here in the cold. Uh, this is mainly so that we can get hours on parts. Um, parts and vibration happen different in the cold. Some parts can become brittle. So it's really trying to get some confidence that no part's going to fail if a machine's in this temperature for a long period of time. By doing this extensive validation means that the problems that the customer would see will be minimised. We try and fix all the problems here so that by the time the customer gets it they get reliable machines. We have a bore scope out here. Uh, we bore scope all machines daily. We also bore scope the after treatment to check for deposits and any inspections on the inside of the after treatment to try and minimise the damage that it caused. So whilst testing the engines out here, all parts that are used are genuine parts. So these parts also get the same vigorous validation. We also test the serviceable parts like air filters, oil filters and fuel filters. These are also routine analysed and samples taken through the life of the filter. And then post testing we send it for analysis to ensure that it's all working correctly. This is why it's important for customers to buy genuine parts. It's good when the temperatures are cold, so when it's this sort of temperature, you feel like you're actually achieving something and there's a long-term goal to it, so it's quite rewarding. 